and you don't have politician in you. This is not time for politics. Ah, ni lumi ita le law. Ah, ni state ni ita le law. It is a solution that we must all find to. New Zans lele. Pure guy man. And if you are from that part of uh, or your state, right? Uh, you will understand the the havoc that himself and his uh, guys they have wrecked in that axis. Of course, uh, there will be a uh, right of way where people say properties will have to give in, right? Before when you are carrying out such developmental project, right? So they are building circular road to ease the traffic on the main uh, motorway from Ibadan to outside Ibadan to that uh, northern part of uh, or your state. A great job, a great work. I've seen it. But there are people who are actually like demolishing people's homes that are far away. I mean, how can you say you want 500 meters? It won't be really, eh? The highest of what you can say, you are, you are, okay, this is the road. You can say, okay, 150 meters or maybe even 100 meters eh? away from the motorway. I mean, from that circular road, right? Enough so that you can limit, uh, you know, uh, what uh, people are going to lose. And then you can calculate what compensation will go to them. What they are doing is that they were just like, marking people's homes for demolition and demolishing them and telling them that that's it. There were no provisions for compensation per se. You heard it now. That it's not even certain of how many houses that will be demolished. That he just told these people that, oh, you need to stop demolishing the houses now. There was no real clear... But there were, because the intention is that their circular road is going to open up their part of your states. And you see land... Land in that place now will become very, very, it will be like gold. So they will use the opportunity to take people's land in the name of government work. They will now resell the land to themselves or ISP there and all of that the way they normally do it in Nigeria. And people see through that. And they've been, they have been protesting and protesting until he came back from his holiday. Let's hear the rest of all he had to say because I want it to be on record. It's you. Ni inu 500 meters nye. I want to let over one bed. Don't stand right now. None will be demolished. But there will be... Emma go? Emma go? There must be no further development. Like the planning. The corridor nye. Until Vati Kole, those are people on Nile, Nibe, Toriko Saklaro, Dumbo, Umfella, Masare Kole, Yancy, Tuamako. I want little Vati Wambe right now. Hear it from me. None of it. Nino, outside 150 meters, yeah, will be demolished. None. And go back to one bed. So, am I JK anybody? So, I pay, uh, Babata, and you pay one more, one, 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 out for the welfare and well-being of the people of your states. So, anya and we anya, ni no our communities ye. Ejeka jo joko, a jo she entolo mo losi biche. Part of the reason of having she circular road, only ka o mawa le riche eventually o. Some of it. You have industries in there. Cherry, a international and in there. A land grabbers. I don't watch your photo. If you're a land grabber, Bowman, Gatio, Shell, and Niagia, some of you.
our land grabbers need one sponsor and one can. But for the new people, the bad new lady bear, who sent out demolish lady outside of the 150 meters corridor. Anybody till they ever exist, lady, you will be integrated into the development see and in the corridor here. Yeah. And finally, finally, let me tell you again, Eileni Jobai, and myself as your governor, I will always look for your well being. But the law is also the law. You must be law abiding because no government. Our government protest the bill, Lenny. And now we have to protest the funny pay our fair development. See everybody back at them be. Ali Mali control on Tashele. Just as you have the right not to protest, other people not the right not to protest. So, a job, a jacob for your bunch, along with the jacket loser, the Kakanin will be. New Zans, Lily. You know me, I'm somebody, I happen to be one of the, the people that actually like the guy. I used to like him, but he's a total uh, a fraud. Eh? The gazette that they are talking about, right, was that they will give 150 meters, right? Then suddenly, the same people now extended it to 500 meters. Then they now claim that it was signed by the former government. How do you know that it was signed by former government? How come in the same gazette, they have 150 meters? They suddenly, 500 meters. People didn't sign 500 meters uh, margin from the main road for development anywhere. Have you ever seen anything like that? 500 meters. One way the astrop there is saying that, uh, did I even listen to him at all? If you are watching me, if you are still there, follow my share at what he say. I'm not from Ibadan, and I probably have no property to lose there, but I have been following the whole thing for the past uh, one year, at least in the earnest. So if the government says, eh, it is in the Gazette, who they write the Gazette? In a fraudulent Nigeria, eh? who they write them, who they erase them? So they have already developed it before Sheyuma Kede became their governor, I'll be fine. Since the time of Lamadeshino, but they didn't build the road. But in that gazette, original gazette, it says 150 meters. So if your house or your land falls within that 150 meters, eh, you will be compensated. All right? Then some of his agents, some of his guys, who are also the land grabbers themselves, all right? They now extended it to 500 meters. So do you even understand what 500 meters is? Eh? Do you understand what, if a road is here, a road like this, do you understand what 500 meter is to that road? Eh? Who does that? One will ask drop in my, in, I mean, on YouTube is asking, is telling me that did I even listen to him for calling him a fraud? Oh, you could that is the only thing. But trying to explain some things to some of you, especially if you are dealing with these corrupt criminal politicians in Nigeria. Some of you would like to want to try and find means of defending them. The criminal, Sheyima Kinde, is telling people that all of you eh, whose land or houses have already been built within that 150 meter mark. Like, okay, this is the road from here to this place, so 150 meters. So if your house is here, after the 150 meters, we will not demolish it, okay? But to those of you who have land there, in that 150 meters, who have not developed your land, don't go and build the house. So, so if the houses that are going to be left, the house is already built, after the 150 meters mark, if they are not going to demolish them, what stops the people who get land from that 150 meter mark from developing their, their land? What stops them? Eh? Because usually, right, it is always, it is always like uh, 50 meters, 100 meters, 150 meters. Do you even know what 150 meters mean? Eh? From a main road, you are building a circular road. 
and then you say, okay, everybody here yeah, and call 150 meters, so everybody will go. But from the 150 meters, you call those of you who have built your houses, leave the house, we won't touch it. But if you have not built your house, please don't do Because the intention is to collect the land, resell the land. Because according to them, once the road is completed, it will bring in development. The price of land, price of houses will increase. And those of them who are members of PDP or your states, they are already high in the area. They are already high in the old place. They will kind of allocate them to them. They will be the owners of the new land there. The owners of the land right now, they will chase them away. That is why you are having all this protest. So you think we are stupid, Abby? Did you listen to him at all? Of course, I listened to him. So you, you think I will now believe him because he's saying it, Abby? Uh, his, the cassette has been there before him. So if he says that the cassette has been there before him and it is 150 and 500, so I should believe him. I should believe because it's Sheyi Abi, he is the government. And that's what they normally do. If you look at some of the places that they've taken people's lands, they will tell them it's for development, it's for yeah, 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 yeah. In another few years, you will see them, politicians, their family members, their friends, they will be the owner of the land. It's not new. So if you have people that you can actually try and uh, shut them up because you think uh, a politician is telling you, is saying the truth, and you want me to actually believe a politician saying the truth, even from what they said, it's so contradictory. Uh -huh. 500 meters. 500 meters. Abba. Anyway, I have other things I want to share with us, though, right? And I'm just going to like uh, leave it that way and let people react to what we have said so far. Everyone that is still here with us, I wouldn't mind if you can help me just type in, in the comment section right now. Everyone, hashtag free. Unamdikanu, hashtag free mazi unamdikanu. If you can do that for me, I will be grateful to you. Just put it out there in order to keep it going. So I am going to take a break. I will come back and take calls. If you have something to say to this, the number is on your screen. Use it. Mm? And if you don't, before you leave, like the broadcasts. Eh? I will be back. <laughs> Thank you so much everyone again uh for being uh, there it's been a little bit of a steamy afternoon and uh usually we normally don't really take calls in the you know during the uh, brunch time uh because it's more or less like a time to give you the uh, snippets 
into what is still to come uh, later uh, tonight. But sometimes uh, the conversation can be, you know, uh, much, much like uh, engaging that uh, people can't wait uh, for later in the night. So let me see if I can actually get uh, us up. First, let's see if I can get us up. And if I can't get us up, indeed, we can put it uh, up for later. Okay. So I have uh, shared with us uh, this afternoon an ongoing injustice against uh, a prisoner of conscience, uh, Mazi Namdikanu, which uh, is asking the Nigerian uh, court uh, to either let him go because they can't try him, or the person in charge should recuse herself or whatever it is that they wanted from him. He would have a chat with them only if he is a free man. He's not done, he hasn't done anything uh, wrong other than asking for uh, equity, justice, which Nigeria doesn't really give and we never give anyone. Indeed, you know, people will say that uh, sometimes, right, justice like this is not uh, uh, given. It's got to be taken, okay? At the same time, right, while you are seeking for uh, just, I mean, when you're seeking justice, uh, you do have uh, a lot of sacrifices to pay as well. He is not really afraid uh, or by any means uh, sad, okay? He's, he knows what he is up against. And he knows that uh, all of this is not going to go for nothing. Those of you who are currently free, you are those who should not totally rejoice because that can be taken away from you anytime. You know, where you see injustice, injustice in the land, and you look away. You see, one of these days, uh, they will come for you too. And there will be possibly no one. Because like they say, when they came for, uh, when they came for the Jews, one second. Oh, where is that? When they came for the Jews, I looked away because I wasn't Jew. When they came for, uh, no, sorry, first, they said first they came for, but I'm going to go pull it out. I'm going to pull it up. I want to read it word for word, okay? They said first, they came for the socialists, and I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists, and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews. And I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. And they came for me and there was no one left to speak for me. I, Mayegu, I am speaking out every now and then simply because if all of us feels like it is none of our business, the day they will come for us, there may be nobody to speak for us. First, they came for the communists and I did not speak out because I was not a communist. Then they came for the socialists. Then they came for the trade unionists. Then they came for the Jew. Then they came for me. Thank you so much, everyone, uh, that is using their own little uh, voice or adding your own uh, little voice eh, to others that uh, we would want to live in a just society, a just world. You know, we are currently living in a world where all our rights are being taken slowly and gradually. And if you think it will never get to you, you are not thinking. No, you're not. That is why Omayegun's diary political. If you say they come for the Shiites, eh, you kept quiet because you are not a Shiite. Then they came for the IPOB. You kept quiet because you are not an IPOB. Later, they came for the NSAS. You also kept quiet because you are not uh, a member of NSAS. They came for the Yoruba Nation agitators. You looked away because you are not a Yoruba Nation agitator. Oh, one day they will come for you. And there will be nobody hmm? to speak for you. So use your voice to speak out against any injustice that you see anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wrap it up now, okay? Thank you so much for your time. Join me later this evening when the line should be working properly. Until then, just stay safe.
All right? And good afternoon.